John, I require lasagna. The popular children's television series Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends was receiving very good reviews. When the first season aired in 1991, there were 26 episodes total. Thomas and Percy's Christmas Adventure was the final episode of the season, but there was a 27th episode that was written by between Diesel Does It Again and Henry Spores. The episode was titled, James's Bad Day. The episode was up and up with James the right engine pulling a good train for an orchard. The opening sequence was the exact same as the episode, No Joke for James. There were a couple of slight differences, however. The colors seemed a bit more dual and James going a bit slower than usual. The audio was a bit distorted, and the narration could barely be made out. Michael Angelis and George Carlin, the British and American narrators respectively, are talking in a very slow monotone voice. That's very hard to hear their voices. The next shot, however, is perfect, but James is now pulling an express out of the station, looking extremely sad if it's if he had witnessed something horrific. There is no more narration at this point, there is no sound. The scene then fades to black, and this is where the episode got strange. The next shot is is at the sheds, and James looks James looks extremely agitated. Gordon and Henry are also present. They began laughing at James, but in a dark demonic tone that didn't sound anything like Michelangelo's or George Carlin. Gordon tells James that he wonders who would be the next to be sent to the scrapyards. Henry then then tells Gordon that James should be next for being silly. At this point, the two neighbors sound. Generators sound as their voices are clogged. Gordon and Henry have acted pompous and arrogant before and sometimes insult their friends on the show, but this was something that was much more cruel and very dark for Gordon and Henry to say. The next shot is of James and his eyes move by then lock onto the screen. He just stares at the viewer for about 30 seconds and then fades to a still image of about for about one frame. From what I could make out, it looked like Thomas and Percy B was were being thrown into a volcano. It looked absolutely horrific. It was for about two seconds, and then we see James going down an old abandoned line. James then begins to cry, and the shiny red paintwork begins to smear and turn dark crimson. This is the where the episode comes up with two extremely different reviews and reasons from the US and UK versions. The UK version. James then across, comes across two small tank engines that look identical to per- Thomas and Percy. The small engines were, in fact, were them, but they were completely dented. Their frontals were cracked, and they didn't have their faces. They look as if they were synced. James begins to cry at first, but a faint whisper is heard, and James goes from crying to just being still. James's eyes rolled over to me. He smiled, and he says... This will be your fate. Then he takes down then he takes it down the line and begins laughing loud and demonic. A shot from the episode James goes buzz buzz is seen is when James' nose is red, his eyes begin to spin, but the scene plays backwards and repeats itself several times. James then passes by Gordon, who is simply laughing at what he thought James with his fortune. And speeds along with the express laughing extremely demonic and tells James that there there is never or will be any use for him or to smell tank engines. James then goes from laughing to grunting and growling. James then squeezes the sound. For some reason, I tried to turn it off down the volume on my remote. But it sounded as if James was in the room. James got across and what appeared on his tender was a machine gun and, it's, and he shot up and blew up Gordon who tried to dodge the bullets, and a loud explosion is heard. Obviously feeling a bit guilt, honestly feeling a bit guilty, James races down the line and goes down a narrow mountain track, where he flies down the mountainside, and eventually reaches the bottom. James instantly breaks in half and is completely mangled. The last scene shows a horrific shot of Thomas, James, and Percy completely disfigured. They don't even have their faces. Thomas's tanks appear to be have, have been bashed and his dome is missing. There is also a big crack in the smoke box. Percy's wheels aren't even attached to him. And his cylinder is missing along with his connecting rods that are cracked. He's also missing his funnel and buffers. 
and James was the worst out of all three. It didn't even look like him. James's red coat of paint was all rusted and his boiler was cracked in half. His tenor had been broken apart and he was also missing his front bogey wheel. Or bogey. His six driving wheels are just hanging from his running plate. Thomas and Percy also had blood stains all over their paintwork. The scene that pants to show Gordon, who was somewhat survived the blast, and Henry was laughing with Devious Diesel, Edward, Duck, and Toby are present, and Diesel rolls along side with three of her engines, saying, You're next, in a very demonic tone. The last shot is of Edward, Toby, and Duck looking horrified as they know what is about to happen. The episode fades to black for about one frame, and then the rolling credits roll. <laughs> the U.S. version. Like the UK version, James goes along an old abandoned track. However, he ends up at the cemetery where he sees engines parts scattered all over the graves. James hears the sound of demonic laughter coming from the sightings, which sounds like Diesel 10 from the Magic Railroad movie. He then hears Gordon and Henry say, You're next. He races off into the distance. James decides to hide in a sighting and puffs up in front of a gravestone. James begins to cry softly, but it sounds like a an actual person crying to the narrator, George Carlin, was crying with pain rather than acting. The next shot is, is of James's face. His eyes weren't moving, and he's just staring at the gravestone. The scene then zooms to the gravestone. There is no name written on it, but simply gives a time of death that says May 12th, May 1st, 7th, June 22nd, 2008. This was actually the birth and death day of George Carlin, the American narrator, from this, then James then backs away from the stone and goes off to hide in the sheds. The next scene is of James spinning on a turd table. Uh, Gordon is watching him and laughing at him. James backs down into his shed. A tears begin rolling down his eyes. James's eyes are just staring to the camera as if he is staring right into the viewer. To be continued.